Madrid, 1933. For the first time in Spain's history, women get to vote. In the chemistry department, four women begin studies in a class of about 100 students. One of them stands out for her cheerful personality and strength of character. Her name is Guadalupe Ortiz. Three years later, the Spanish Civil War breaks out. Guadalupe puts her studies on hold. One of the hardest moments of her life is dawning, the death of her father, Manuel, a colonel in the army. Accused of treason, he renounces a pardon so as not to abandon his men, who are all shot dead. The war ends. Guadalupe, with her degree in chemistry, starts teaching at two schools in Madrid. While attending mass one day, to her surprise, something moves her and she feels the need to be closer to God. Upon leaving, she runs into an old family friend whom she asks for help. She wants to talk to a priest. Her friend introduces her to Jose Maria Escrivá. Escrivá was just beginning the work of Opus Dei, which he had founded a few years earlier in 1928. The priest explains the heart of his message to Guadalupe. God awaits us in the middle of the street and we can find him through work and daily life. She has a deep certainty of having found her path. And on March 19, 1944, she has to become a part of Opus Dei. Madrid, Bilbao, Zaragoza. Years of direct collaboration with Jose Maria Escrivá begin, supporting the development of Open Opus Dei, setting up student residences in different places, Guadalupe shares the joy of her life and helps many people to grow closer to God and care for others. Jose Maria values Guadalupe greatly, her love of God, her courage, her entrepreneurial spirit. And in 1951, he proposes a new adventure, start Opus Day in Mexico. A few months later, Guadalupe is already there. Overcoming many obstacles, she begins a student residence and a center for professional training for peasant women. After starting in the capital, the first Mexican vocations arrive. With great zeal, Guadalupe watches as the apostolic work spreads to other cities. Opus Dei has taken root in Mexico. Guadalupe has left part of her heart in this land and among these people and considers herself Mexican. Then comes an unexpected change of plans. Monsignor Escrivá asked her to work with him in Rome in the central government of Opus Dei. Guadalupe packs her bags again and generously takes up this new task. A few months after arriving in Rome, she experiences heart failure, which eventually leads to her return to Madrid, this time for good. During all this time, Guadalupe did not abandon her passion for scientific research in the field of chemistry. As much as her time allows, she has tried to stay up to date with her profession. And finally, at 42 years old, she seems the time has come for her to take a leap. She will combine teaching at Madrid's Ramiro de Maizu Institute and doing research at the CSIC. In 1964, she is appointed deputy head of the women's school for international studies. A year later, she defends a doctoral thesis, obtaining the highest qualifications. In 1968, she participates in the planning and the establishment of a center of studies and research of domestic sciences, an apostolic initiative of Opus Dei. Time passes, and her heart beats to the rhythm of her work. In 1975, she suffers a relapse, and she is admitted to the hospital at the University of Navarre where she undergoes a long operation. Everything seems to go well, but shortly thereafter, her situation gets worse. Guadalupe would pass away on July 16 at 59 years old. Among her colleagues, friends, and family members, she has left a great impact with her humanity, enthusiastic service, and joy. <laughs>